Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to snap to vertices, how to snap to curves or edges, and how to snap to different points on a grid. I've got two spheres here. I'm going to select this left one. I'm going to press the F9 button on my keyboard so I can select uh, some vertices. And it doesn't matter whether I select vertices or an object or a face. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is snapping my manipulator handle. So if I select this vertice, I have my manipulator handle. Now your manipulator handle needs to be the move tool. If you use the rotate, it's not going to work. You need to use the move tool. Um, so you can either press the move tool over here in your toolbox or you can press the letter W on your keyboard. All right, with the vertices selected, none of the handles are selected, so I don't have the uh, green, blue, or red handles selected. None of those are selected. I just have the center selected. And now what I can do is I can press and hold down the letter V on my keyboard, V for Victor. I can press and hold down the middle mouse button and now as I move my mouse over different vertices in my scene then my manipulator handle snaps to those points. Alright, if I press and hold down the letter C now I can middle mouse click on any of these edges and then drag my uh, mouse. So I've got the middle mouse button pushed down and I'm just moving my mouse uh, left and right on this edge or I can move it up and down on this edge. I can click on this top edge over here and then move my mouse back and forth to follow it. Now I can also press and hold down the letter X and now I can middle mouse drag across different points on my grid and it snaps to those different grids. So basically I'm just snapping the manipulator handle to uh, different points, whether I'm using the grid, or whether I'm using other vertices, or whether I'm using curves or edges. All right, let me go to object mode. Here, let me just undo that. All right, go to object mode, and just press F, the F8 button on my keyboard to go to object mode. Um, this time, instead of having vertices selected, I have the object selected. And since my manipulator handle is in the center of this uh, left sphere, it's gonna snap that center point to whatever we decide to snap it to. So I'm going to press hold down the letter V and now I'm going to snap to some other vertices just by middle mouse dragging over other ver vertices like so. I'm going to press hold down the letter X now I can click and snap at different parts on our grid. Now I'm going to press and hold down the letter C. Actually let me kind of shrink this down. Alright, go back to my move tool. Now I'm going to press and hold down the letter C and now I can click and, and middle mouse drag across uh, different edges and you can see our object follows those those uh, curves, those edges. Alright, another useful thing is let's say that uh, we wanted to snap our manipulator handle to let's say this bottom uh, vertice. Well you can press the insert button and your manipulator handle changes it's just got some lines now instead of arrows. And again, I'm not going to select any of those arrows. I'm just going to get this middle uh, selected. Now I'm going to press and hold down the letter V and just middle mouse drag over this bottom vertice. And now our manipulator handle is at the bottom of our object. So I can press the insert button again to go back to normal. And now if I wanted to, I could easily snap this sphere to the top of this one over here on the left. Let me make this left one a little bigger again now. All right, I've got this right sphere selected. Make sure I'm, I'm, I'm on my move tool. Now I'm going to press and hold down the letter V and then middle mouse drag over this top vertice on this left sphere and it snaps our object right to it. Basically again, it's snapping the uh, manipulator handle. But since the manipulator handle was at the bottom of our sphere, it snapped that point to the top of this sphere. Another useful way to snap objects to move them around your scene is by creating a construction plane. So if I go up to the create menu and my menu bar and I go down to construction plane I'm just going to click it. Let me rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to raise that up and what I'm going to do is with that construction plane selected up here on my status line there is a section of buttons that look like they have little red horseshoes on them, little red magnets. The one to the far right of that section 
is the Make Live button. So if I click that, it makes that construction plane live and it looks like a grid. So we can use our Snap to Grid technique to snap to that uh, plane. So I'm going to press and hold the letter X and then middle mouse drag over different points on that construction plane that I just made. So that's another useful way of moving objects around your scene. And again, you can put a construction plane anywhere in your scene you want. And it actually, even though you're only seeing it right there, if I press and hold down my the X and then snap to different points, I can keep going to the right and it it's as if the grid is still there. So very useful. And one last thing I want to mention. Okay, let me I'm gonna press the make live button again. That way it gets rid of that uh construction plane being live. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. I showed you how to snap by the pressing and holding down the letter V, C, and X keys on your keyboard. Well, there's another way you can do it. That section of buttons I was talking about on your status line where your Make Live button is, there's uh, four buttons to the left of that. One's a Snap to Grid. So if you click that button, instead of having to press and hold down the letter X, you can just simply middle mouse drag over points on your grid. To turn it off, just click that button again. The next one is Snap to Edges. Snap to curves, so I can easily uh, do that without having to hold down the letter C. I'm just middle mouse dragging over different edges. And then the next one is snap the points. All I'm doing is middle mouse dragging. I'm not having to press the letter V. The next one is uh, view, snap the view planes. So play around with those, get used to them. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.